Hello everyone! Welcome to the virtual learning program prepared by Rainbow International School. And uh, welcome grade 7 boys and girls. And are you ready to proceed to chapter 2? Okay, so chapter 2 is about David uh, when he was sent away to school. And let's see, before we go through the chapter, let's take up uh, some story elements. And we have here the settings. Uh, we have three settings actually in the chapter. And the first setting is in Blunderstone, located in the east of England, in Suffolk. Okay, it's, it's the birthplace of David. And um, a scene happened in in the in that place in chapter two. There's also a scene in Yarmouth, the place where we found uh, we can find the boat house owned by Daniel Pegotty, and where he lives with his two orphans. Daniel, as we all know, is the brother of uh, Clara Pegotty, the nurse of uh, David. In this picture, you will see uh, David here, young David. He was about 10, and um, he he's about to leave for Salem House. Okay, and this uh, is Mr. Barkis, the cart driver who uh, brought him to uh, Yarmouth. Okay, here we have um, Mr. Murdstone, Miss Murdstone, Clara Pegotty, and David's mom. All right, so let us try to go to the characters. In the f in chapter one, we have met characters uh, in David's life, including himself. Now in chapter two, we have four new characters introduced, and they are Mr. Mel. We have Mr. Mel here. He is taking good care of young David, and Mr. M Mel is the one who fetch him from the uh, coach station in London uh, because the time when uh, David arrived in London to go to Salem House it was vacation time, it was a holiday and uh, only Mr. Mel was left at, in uh, Salem House to look after the place so for a month he stayed, uh, David stayed with Mr. Mel ate with him, talked to him and um, Salem House was introduced to David because of Mr. Mel. And the next character he's, is the headmaster of Salem House. His name is Mr. Quickle. He, he loves beating boys. The only boy he couldn't, he never beat was uh, here, James Steerforth. Okay, so James Steerforth is an influential boy in Salem House. He is older, the oldest boy in the in Salem House. He's in fact six years older than uh, David. And another boy here, his name is uh, Tommy Traddles. He's a beaten boy in Salem House. He's the unluckiest boy because he takes all the blame, you know, um, of the boys in Salem House. Okay, so let's try to go to the summary of the story. The story is assigned to you. It was assigned to you uh, for reading and uh, we expected you to uh, highlight the words that are Greek to you, that are new to you and take them down in your booklet or your notebook, copy book and uh, try to get to know the meanings and uh, apply the meanings to the the, to the chapter. In any passage that you read, you have to do the same and make it a practice because in this manner you increase your vocabulary, you know the meaning of many words that, uh, that are new to you. Okay, so let's try to have the summary. Let's read it so we can, we may somehow recall what happened in um, chapter 2. Okay. David was very unhappy living with his mother his stepfather and his aunt, Peggotty. 
he was not allowed to play with his friends and did not even go to school and for that reason he was schooled at home and he led a very lonely and sad existence mr murdstone was a very unkind man and he hit david with a cane once after such a beating david bit his stepfather's hand mr murdstone marched the boy upstairs and he was kept prisoner in his room for five days so he is in a in a very pitiful state he's living in this condition with his stepfather and he's experiencing all these beatings from him okay let's continue not long after that mr murdstone sent david off to a school in london called salem house as i mentioned earlier mr barkis um when he um brought david to yarmouth to a station where he traveled overnight on his way to london because from there he will be fetched by he would be fetched by uh, mr mel okay let's continue he was fetched by a teacher named mr mel after a month he met his classmates and the school's headmaster who is mr murdstone's friend and his name is mr crickle he became close to Tommy Traddles and James Steerforth. During the Christmas holidays, he had the chance to go back to Blunderstorm, uh, Blunderstone, I'm sorry, where he saw his newly born baby brother. And as soon as the holidays ended, he headed back to Salem House and he was so excited to see Tommy and James again. Okay, you will find in your book on page 93 activities while reading for chapters 1 and 2. And uh, here are the guide uh, answers. Uh, for question number 1, why did Betsy want to have a niece, not a nephew? So the guide answer is because she wanted to bring up a girl and prevent her from making the mistakes she had made in her life. Number two question is what happened while David and Peggotty were in Yarmouth? David's mother married Mr. Murdstone. And number three, who came to help David's mother in the house? Miss Murdstone. Uh, Miss Murdstone is the sister of Mr. Murdstone. Question number four, why was David locked in his room for five days? Because he had beaten Mr. Murdstone's hand when Mr. Murdstone had beaten him. For question number five, why did Peggotty run after the cart when David left? Because she wanted to give David a purse with eight shillings in it and a paper bag full of her special cakes. Sixth question, what was Mr. Barkis' message to Peggotty? The message was, Barkis is willing. You see, um, on their way to Yarmouth Station, uh, Barkis was talking to David, and he um, he mentioned to David that he is willing. That means he he is willing to marry Peggotty and live with her the rest of his life. Question number seven: Who did David make friends with at school? It's Tommy Traddles and James Steerforth. And question number eight, uh, what happened to the eight shillings Peggotty had given David? Well, James Steerforth, um, he's, because he's the oldest boy in Salem House, he could like, he knows who to deal with and how to deal with especially young boys and new students. So James Steerforth had it. He said he would take care of it, the eight shillings, take care of the eight shillings for David and then spend it all on food and drink, which all the boys shared. And question number nine, we have what was different about David's home when he returned. David's mother had a new baby and was not looking well. Okay, so these are the guide questions and you may check your answers from this guide answers okay now i'm leaving you with question comprehension questions 
two questions in fact and you may write your answers in your copybook and the answers should be uh, sent to uh, me in our discord group or in whatsapp and you have to answer them like the first one is what were David's earliest memories and the other one is how do we know that Peggotty loved David okay so I'll be waiting for your uh, answers uh, before we proceed to chapter 3 okay so thank you for your time and thank you for listening and being with me uh, while uh, trying to know what happened in chapter 2 to David Copperfield. Okay, so till next uh, video presentation, ha uh, have a happy virtual learning uh, or learning uh, s with our slides, the slides prepared by your teachers from Rainbow. And be safe and always take care. Bye for now.